namaste everybody good morning so today is the fifth day of the workshop we'll briefly recap the content that we have discussed in the past four days so going over the complete uh, content module one includes these six lectures for which we had a discussion on the first day module two that is harmony in the human being includes these six lectures for which we had a discussion on the second day then on the third day we discussed harmony in the family <clears throat> on the fourth day we discussed harmony in the society partly in the fourth day and then we also discussed harmony in the nature yesterday and we'll be discussing these two lectures uh, of module 4 today so realizing coexist realizing existence as coexistence at all levels and the holistic perception of harmony in the existence this is something that we are going to discuss today uh discussing the harmony in the society we saw that there are four human goals right understanding and right feeling in every individual prosperity in every family fearlessness that is trust in the society and coexistence in the nature and existence and to fulfill these four goals we have the five dimension of society education sanskar health self regulation production work justice preservation exchange and storage going by this way <clears throat> we have the scope for having orderliness from family to the world family so in 10 steps we can see how the whole world can be orderly so with this clarity we have a clear vision of the universal human order we have a clear vision of the world order how the whole world can be organized civilized uh, now we also discussed how the education naturally takes place in a family so uh, if the parents have the right understanding and right feeling then the child by imitating following obeying gradually enters the phase of self discipline and then the child gets prepared with self confidence and that goes generation to generation but if the parents do not have the right understanding and right feeling then by going through these phases the child is not able to develop uh, definite conduct and then there is arbitrariness opposition revolt struggle all these issues are there this is something that we have explored earlier also then we discussed harmony in the nature and we saw that there are four orders in nature physical order bio order animal order and human order uh, i was just looking at the responses in the quiz and i found that many of the responses were not correct so i just request that you please go through the notes uh, that have been shared with you and the uh, material that is there with you so that because all of these things have to be understood very clearly so there are four orders in nature and we can see that the four orders are mutually fulfilling each other even human order is naturally accepting to fulfill the other three orders but only that with lack of right understanding we are not able to fulfill the other orders once we have the right understanding then we are able to ensure this in our living now going further we discussed uh, various things associated with the four orders so we talked about the activities in the four orders so we saw that in the physical order the activity is formation and deformation in the bio order the activity is formation and deformation as well as respiration uh, when it comes to animal order the body is just like a unit of uh, bio order and then we have this formation deformation as well as respiration in the body but when it comes to the cell the activity of selecting and testing in the cell our body just like the animal body just like the plants and trees and in the self we have activity of imaging analyzing comparing selecting and testing and we also have the potential for understanding looking at the innateness we can see that the innateness of the physical order is existence when it comes to bio order it is existence as well as growth now the same thing is there with the animal body as well as the human body in the animal order we have the will to live in the self this is the innateness of the self in the animal order and talking about the human order we not only want to live we also want to live with continuous happiness so the human order uh, in the self we have the will to live with continuous happiness and that is fulfilled by right feeling and for ensuring right feeling we need to have right understanding and for that education sanskar is required and once this is ensured then it goes from one generation to another generation now looking at the inheritance the physical order has the inheritance which is constitution based in the bio order the inheritance is seed based these all issues we discussed in detail yesterday and there were so many questions and uh, it was a good interaction yesterday in the fourth session 
then in the animal order the inheritance is breed based and in the human order the inheritance is education sanskar based and that's how education sanskar is very important for the human order so this is all that we had discussed yesterday i can take a few reflections or any question is there then i can take up and then we can go on to discuss the next part of the uh, session dr seema patel okay bhaiya can you uh, am i audible yeah yeah you are audible uh, bhaiya a thoda sa little on justice if you could uh, extrapolate a little i uh, if uh, i'm a little not too clear about this so justice is recognizing the naturally acceptable things in the relationship fulfilling the feelings evaluating whether the fulfillment was made or not and if it leads to mutual happiness then we say that the justice is ensured so these are the four elements of justice recognition of the feeling fulfillment evaluation leading to mutual happiness okay theek hai bhai thank you is that fine yeah yes ji dr geeta dr bhaiya namaste bhaiya ji namaste uh, bhaiya even i had a doubt with the the justice bhaiya so what i thought is in uh, in literary meaning we think justice means to ensure fearlessness among the society so that is why i also selected the option fearlessness but everybody must be without fear in this society so that is the purpose of justice yeah according so to our law associated with fearlessness that is fine and fearlessness essentially means that we are able to ensure mutual happiness when we have mutual happiness in the relationship there is no question of fear ah uh. fearlessness essentially means ensuring the relationship in such a way that there is no domain there is no scope for fear at all when we are ensuring mutual happiness in the relation uh. then where is fear so essentially we want to work in such a way that there is no fear in the society at all and not that crimes are committed and then we are able to penalize the criminals so that is something that we have to do if the fearlessness is not ensured but essentially what we would naturally accept is to have mutual happiness in every relationship and this is what we are working for if i have the right feelings ensured in me if i am mm. able to fulfill the relationship every time i also rightly evaluate my competence as well as competence of the other and then participate in ensuring happiness in the other also with my happiness ensured and there is no scope for fear at all mm -hmm. But as per our exactly. as per our notes, it is written as preservation, Bhaiya. So that is why I had the doubt whether we have to take preservation or fearlessness. In the question, the quiz you are saying? Yeah, yeah, yes, Bhaiya. No, so the choice was available, no, of fearlessness. Uh huh. Okay, okay, Bhaiya. So okay. that is why I had the doubt, Bhaiya, whether we okay, have to okay, go indeed. for preservation. Okay, fine, Didi. Then what is the meaning of preservation, Bhaiya? Preservation means three things. Uh, so it comes to uh, like when we talk about the rest of nature, uh, then we talk about preservation. So that means enrichment of the rest of nature, protection of the rest of nature, and right utilization of the rest of nature. That is preservation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we preserve the nature. <laughs> so yesterday we took an example. No, for example, wheat. So we grow the wheat so that the amount gets enriched. That is enrichment. Mm -hmm. and the harvest that we have we protect the harvest mm -hmm. but it's not rot it does not get rotten in the rain it, does, it is not eaten by the insects so we try to protect the wheat and then we utilize it rightly by consuming wheat and mm -hmm. not converting into liquor mm -hmm. so this is a case of preservation so in a similar manner we have to preserve water we have to preserve air we have to preserve uh, every entity in the nature mm -hmm. isn't it Yes, yes, bhai. Okay, thank you, thank you, bhai. I got it clear. Uh, Minu Mehta ji. Namaste, bhai. Ji, namaste. Bhai, in the last slide, mm -hmm. uh, where we are distinguishing between the various orders, mm -hmm. bhai, uh, it is written that uh, will I mean uh, living with continuity of happiness 
कैरेक्टराइजेस द ह्यूमन ऑर्डर जी तो एंड अलोंग विद दैट भैया इट इज आल्सो रिटन पासिंग इट ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट जेनरेशन सो एम आई करेक्ट इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट्स डोंट केयर अबाउट लिविंग अ लेगेसी पासिंग एनीथिंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट जेनरेशन वेयर एज वी डू सो दैट इज आल्सो अ मार्कर ऑफ डिफरेंशिएशन बेसिकली इनहेरिटेंस मींस दैट इट गोस फ्रॉम वन जनरेशन टू अनदर जनरेशन बीट प्लांट्स बीट एनिमल्स बीट ह्यूमन okay isn't it so yeah. that is there uh -huh. now in the case of human being we have the will to live with continuous happiness right so that will get transferred from one generation to another and that's how it is education sanskar based because this will will be fulfilled only through right understanding and right feeling for which we need to have the education sanskar yeah right right bhai ji yes understood bhai Yeah, I was talking about this arrow going, this arrow only next generation. Yeah, so that is essentially when we are talking about inheritance. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Bhaiya. Okay, Bhai. Doctor Sunil Kumar. Yeah. Thank you. I have a small uh, query with regard to willingness to live with self and willingness to live with continuous happiness in self. So willingness to live with self is uh, attributed to animal order. and the other is attributed to human order so can also we say that uh, human order has the willingness to live with self as well as in continuous happiness what is the meaning of will to live with self yeah there this uh, continuous happiness is not involved just uh, without that yeah, so that is, that is will I, to live will to so live that only. is there in the animals we just don't want to live we also want to live with happiness and that's why we are making so much of effort if we right. see an animal is not doing production okay not doing mm -hmm. any kind of research not doing any kind of uh, technological advancement but still the animal is able to live we can also live in a similar manner but that will not be the state of living with happiness in continuity and that's how we are working so much getting educated educating others working for relationship working for harmony yeah. that is followed but uh, can we say that we are also uh, living with the willingness to live itself and the in continuous happiness okay so willingness to live itself is uh, not self alone make yeah. much sense because the self is there already correct okay understood yeah. thank you dr bhuvaneshwari yeah 